Hi everyone, my name is Shi Cheng and you're watching another episode of our school holiday specials. If you'd like to keep up with our latest videos, please like and subscribe. Today, I'm at City Sprouts at Henderson, an urban farm in Singapore. What is an urban farm? If you guessed a farm in city areas, you would be right. City Sprouts is a farming hub that started in 2019. They take old spaces that are not in use and give them new life by planting vegetables that transform the place into green urban farms. Alright, now let's head inside and check them out. With me is Najib from City Sprouts. He'll take us around the farm to show us all the things that they do to promote sustainability. Exactly. Hello everyone and welcome to City Sprouts. And as Shushang has mentioned, yes, we do have a lot of projects that are related to sustainability. And one live example is these trellises behind me. These trellises were discarded scaffolding from a construction site and we just took them over, cleaned them, painted them with bright yellow and now we are using them as trellises for our plant as well as a platform for our aquaponic over there. So Shushong, can you guess what are we growing in these plots here? Hmm, I see mud, mm -hmm. I see water. Yes. I'm guessing rice. Exactly. These three by three plots in here produce around three kgs of rice every three months. Three kg of rice every three months? Mm -hmm. huh, isn't that about 80 bowls of rice per year? Whoa, you're great at math. Yes, exactly. 80 bowls of rice. That's not much. Unfortunately, we don't have enough land here in Singapore to produce on a commercial scale. That's why we need to be creative and start growing indoors in hydroponic as well as aquaponic and specialized greenhouses. Wow, this sounds really interesting. How about we dive into aquaponics next? Oh yeah, sure. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow, what a cool structure. I see all these pipes and running water and I see plants growing as well. What exactly is this and is it related to the swimming tilapia fish? Well, you're right. Yes. These tilapia fish have this kind of symbiotic relation with the plants in here. So they eat, they poop, and their poop is just transformed due to the bacteria to nutrients for our plants. Wow, so can I hazard a guess that there's something to do with the pond water going up to the growing plants in this structure? Exactly! That's how the water flows all the way up the pipe in here and rains down with nutrients on the roots of these wonderful edible plants. Would you like to try some? Sure, why not? Have some good food here. Oh, this smells really delicious. Hmm, since I'm eating this, what do the tilapia fish eat? Well, let's talk now about another sustainability hero and see what our tilapia eat. Let's go! So, Shishang, what did you have for dinner last night? Hmm, let me think. Uh, I had rice, stir fried mm -hmm. vegetables and some chicken. Wonderful! Any leftovers? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Well, you're not alone. Every household in Singapore has around two bowls of rice per day as leftovers. Oh my, that's really wasteful. Yeah. So, that's when our friends here come to the rescue, the black soldier fly larvae. These tiny worms can eat up to four times their body weight. So imagine me eating around 500 kilos. <laughs> as well as they can eat anything, even food that we cannot digest. Yes. Wow. So after the black soldier flies have eaten everything, mm -hmm. what do we do with them? Well, you eat a lot, you poop a lot. And that poop actually is organic fertilizer called the frass that slowly releases all the nutrients for the plant. As well as, also when you eat a lot, you will get fatter. And when <laughs> these worms are 
that we can feed them to our food, which is chickens, fish, and cows. Wow! Yeah. Thank you so much, Najib, for sharing with me City Sprouts' closed loop farming concept where nothing goes to waste. You're most welcome. Here at City Sprout, we provide workshops and programs to bring the community closer to its food source so we can all work together sustainably to preserve Mother Earth. See you all here at City Sprout. Bye-bye.